Hey guys, this is Hot New Pier, and yeah, I took a little while to post up this video because I had some trolls on my YouTube and they were, you know, just bugging the shit out of me. So it took me a little while to get to the point where I could just be like, fuck it, they're trolls, ignore them, and then uh, finally get some time to actually post up this video. So this video is just of me going over the new setup for my server here, and yeah. It works really well. This I have everything working right now. Um, the server is up and running. Um, I'm getting standard traffic just like before. Except there's something weird. The CPU usage right now it's like one percent. You know, fluctuating between zero and one percent. And on top of it, I've got all these freaking programs opened, and I'm also RDC'd into the server. So that adds uh, some CPU usage right there like oh my god so you know I thought the efficiency of of uh, Microsoft versus uh, CentOS and Linux and all those sort of things would be questionable because first of all uh, this is a graphic user interface and CentOS doesn't have a graphic user's interface so you know you'd expect it to be uh, a lot less efficient but the reality is it's not and how is this sort of done well let's look here zero percent zero 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 nothing and I think the key is that on Windows um, a lot of the software works better than the open source crap so I'm like for example um, this is IIS that's sort of what handles all the web requests. So I'm not even I'm not using Apache or any of that shit. I'm just using this. So I've completely switched my uh, web server program. So I've gone from Apache to this, you know. And uh, oof, on my other server or my little shitty PC that was running my website, the CPU usage was through the roof. And it was all like Apache, Apache, and uh, MySQL, and pretty much just all the HTTPD. And that was using all the processing power. But look at this, you know, it's like PHP, um, yeah, that's it. That's pretty much it. So it's pretty low in terms of, in terms of usage. So um, unfortunately, you know, this isn't the most popular software. So there aren't a lot of studies done on um, the performance between uh, Apache and all that shit. And of course, everyone knows that um, you know HTTPD is not uh, the most you know Apache is not the most um, efficient program because it's meant to have lots of features. But then, holy shit! Look at this. I have a nice freaking control panel thingamajig here, and there's support for clouds and all sorts of little cool things that you don't really have support for in Apache and what's even better is you have a user interface you don't have that stupid text file and you gotta reload the server every time you make a little freaking change like look at this um, here we are hotnoob.com edit bindings let's add something I haven't done this yet so hostname www.hotnoob.com because I haven't added in the a lot you know what I mean Ugh. yet and poof you know like I didn't have to restart anything, and if I just go here, www.hotnoob.com, holy shit, it's already working. Woo! And, um, yeah, that leg is, you know, loading leg. It's not the computer lagging or whatever the server, just let you know. Anywho, it is, like, amazing. And you get the full, you know, sort of a control panel or C panel. You know, which is something that you'd normally pay like a thousand dollars per server or whatever for cPanel, but you get it here and you can actually load this up remotely and you know, this is like free. Like this little program is free. Well you know, the express version is free. I don't know if I'm using Express, I don't think so, because I'm using the full version of uh, Windows Server 2008, so this is probably not the free version, but it is included in Windows 2008, and that's all that sort of matters. If it is a free version, wow, I'm even more impressed. And there are so many little things that you can do here that you cannot do with uh, Control Panel and cPanel and all that shit, like uh, here we are, PHP Manager. Change PHP version. 
while the server is still running, you can freaking change which version of PHP you want on the server, and you know you can switch between domains, and that's like wow, you know it's very easy to do. And then you can enable disable extensions and do that based on your domains, like wow. So you know there's a lot of features, and it doesn't seem to be using up a lot of usage, and. Uh, yeah, let's just show you guys a little idea of how much traffic I actually get so you can see how much uh, is going through. Um, I'll pause this while I log in, by the way, you know, just so you guys can see everything. Okay, so I've got the analytics loading here so you guys can see exactly what I'm talking about. So, um, yeah, here, so uh, 208,000 page views. Yeah. And what's the usage? Like zero one percent, you know. And and users are connecting and disconnecting all the time right now, just back and forth. Um, yeah. And this is only one of my websites. I've got several other ones. So you know that hopefully sort of gives you an idea. And then the memory. Like, well, I don't even have all the features set up. Like. I don't have uh, e-acceleration on yet, so, you know, it's using even more than it would uh, normally use up, and, you know, RAM usage is pretty low, like, you know, one point, uh, two gigs used up, and I got the server running, got shitload of programs open, well, not a shitload, and, you know, performance-wise, it's great. And then you also have all the perks of setup, like, there's just this little program here, Web Platform Installer 4.15. And it'll let you install everything like real easy. Like, let's say you wanted to install PHP. I already have it installed. Or let's install ASP.NET or something. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. Uh, that looks like too much work. But anywho, you just click on whatever you want to install. And you click add, install, it downloads everything. It configures everything for you. It's just so so freaking easy and there are tons of tools that have automatic installers for you really really awesome like here dotnet framework Boop. install it, you, it shows you your uh, dependencies it's just exactly like if you're to do yum on CentOS except you have this really nice graphics user interface and yeah it performs well it's simple as that and of course you can also get the GUI on CentOS but I've never used the graphics interface on CentOS because you know whatever and of course this is like any other Windows OS so you can install programs like what the hell you can install uh, Skype and all that shit without uh, worrying about compatibility and it's great oh and even more um, just gonna close this I thought this was sort of interesting. I noticed this sort of uh, right away. Is that the network speed is ridiculously fast. So this is between my custom computer. Uh, it's got a sort of decent, yeah, it's got a pretty decent uh, Ethernet controller on it. And then this is to a server controller. And in between is two routers. So this is going through two routers right now. And let's see how fast it transfers. Go to more details. 107, you saw that spike up. So I'm transferring at a freaking 112 uh, megabytes per second. That is the full gigabit over the network. Right? This is between Windows Server 2008 and Windows 8. Wow. Like the speeds. Like when I transfer a file between um, Windows 7 and 8 or something, or 7 and 7, do you. Like, it's always freaking 10 megs per second, and you're always fucking wondering why the hell it's so slow with the file transfers, and I'm starting to sort of think that maybe it's because Microsoft doesn't enable it, or there are different settings or priorities, but look at this. I didn't have to screw with anything right off the bat, fresh install, and it's going 100 megabytes per second over the Ethernet, which is 800 megabits. That is fucking fast, like fast man and this is just ethernet uh, just imagine is as 
if ugh, just imagine having uh, fiber optics how fast you'd go like four gig uh, fiber channel and fuck you'd probably get like three gigs transfer easy well of course you need the hard drive capacity but you know you get my drift right that's amazing and I've also got the remote desktop connection going at the same time like wow so that there was a nine gig file and it completed in what like 30 seconds or something well a bit longer like a minute it's pretty good don't you think you know oh but you guys wish that your porn downloaded that fast day eh? <laughs> anywho uh, this is hot new